Fallout 3 on the Xbox One. And being played. This is being played offline. This is the Xbox 360 version of Fallout 3 being played offline on an Xbox One. I don't remember how I already were leaving. I don't think I need to save anything else. You don't, even need, you don't need to know anything about me other than I'm playing a character that's going to change at some point. <laughs> you should know how it is. I created a Ground Zero save before I left the vault. So we're going to leave the vault and just test out this new capture device I got. What's it called? It's an inland... What is this? An inland... I have a have box, don't I? Yeah, it's under here somewhere. It's an inland HDMI video capture device. I'll have to go into more detail about that later. It's got a microphone input. And what's the other thing it has? Let me do a quick game save. Yeah, the game saved that, didn't it? Yeah, we're fine. Oh, okay, so it it or it changed the order, I guess. Okay, that's okay. That's okay. I just wanted to see uh, how I was doing. Now that I've now that I've made that other breadcrumb save. So HDMI out. Yep. This uh, this inland device has a pass through. So I'm able to play this on my flat screen TV and capture the footage onto my laptop simultaneously. So I don't need a splitter, which is good. Uh, the problem is that I unfortunately will not, the input latency on this thing is not particularly great. So I won't be able to play directly onto my laptop, but it comes with a pass through. So I can play, I can, I can play this on my TV and record without having to worry about the latency when I play a game. This I'm capturing at 60 frames a second. I don't think this game's going to run at 60 frames a second, even on an Xbox One. They increased the resolution to 1080p, I want to say, like full HD. But the, res the frame rate's probably going to be stuck at 30. I would not be shocked. You probably need a mod to change that. <laughs> Excuse me. So I guess I leveled up just by leaving the uh, area, huh? I can never remember what I need to increase. I guess we'll worry about that later. <laughs> guess I can just increase my medicine. <laughs> I mean, I guess we could change this later. Yeah, I guess I can't change this later. I can never remember what I need to increase. Well, I mean, we already saved our games. So I'm not going to worry that much about it. I guess we can just increase our bartering skill so that everything's cheaper. Science sounds like a good skill to have eventually. Sneaking might be important later. Speech, yeah. Again, I can never remember how I want to build my character. This is basically, it's not a research stream, it's a test stream using this new capture device I have. Continue. Okay, what do I want? I want to learn stuff more quickly. Gain an additional 10 points to total experience points. That's an obvious perk. So I'm going for that. Done. I always want to learn stuff more quickly. That's a guaranteed first time playing the game. Got to grab that perk. So the higher resolution does make the rocks look better. <laughs> so there is that. Again, I am going to insist that this game runs at 30 frames a second, but it does look very good. I have... I... Do I have this? I Obviously, I have this game on the Xbox 360. I played several videos of this game on my Xbox 360, but I was recording it onto a DVD recorder. But now I get to play the game the way it was meant to be played on a 19-inch television through an Xbox One, I guess. I do not own this game on PC. I have, um, I, I do have Fallout New Vegas, and that game is very laptop friendly. I have a video where I play that game. Uh, what's the uh, jump button? I can remember the jump button. Uh, hmm. No, we're fine there. Special, we're good. Melee weapons got a, I got a buff on that for some reason. I guess I got I I guess I have something equipped that gives me a melee buff. That's why there's a plus sign on there. Again, I haven't played this game in a while. I just wanted to do a test run. Uh, each rank must be yeah, obviously. Uh, computer's hacked. 
Don't need that. I already have too much equipment, so I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start dumping stuff now. Actually, I'm supposed to combine this. I'm supposed to repair my items by combining them, right? I don't need to. Rep Which one am I wearing? I'm wearing the tunnel snake outfit because it's the one that has the most damage reduction, apparently. This is what this explains the buff. See in the bottom right hand corner of the pit boy, the little screen I got here. It says effects melee weapon plus five. So I have this equipped. My melee weapons are a little bit more effective, which I, I always liked. That gear gives you buffs. Uh, this is worth more. So I guess I can just sell it at some point. It weighs nothing, so I guess I can just keep it. So whatever. Better damage reduction on this. So I'm wearing a helmet. This one reduces damage more, I guess. So I guess I'm equipping that. So I have the helmet. Should I wear the security armor? Damage reduction 4. It says damage reduction of 9. So I guess I should be wearing that. Yeah. So did anything else, got t anything else get taken off? No. So I guess this is the best armor I have. Uh, bobblehead medicine. BB. We found some more radio. If you can find the radio station at some point, I guess. Well, we're out of the vault. We're supposed to go to Megaton, right? Use the right mouse. Use the right stick. That'll get me over here. So that's where Megaton is. So we could go to Megaton just so we have a place to stay. Or we could just kind of go this way and just mess up the entire timeline. Megaton is southeast of here. I don't know what town that is, though. And remember, I live here in the Fallout 3. Um, I live in the Fallout 3 area. This is the vault, which is technically in Arlington, Virginia, I want to say. Okay, kids, a little bit of geography here. This is the Potomac River. Uh, I don't know which part's DC. Okay. That's the Anacostia River, I want to say. So we're... So we're in Virginia. We might be near the Arlington National Cemetery. I can never remember. Because I'm not from this part of the area. We are going to go back to my hometown, which is here near the Germantown Police Headquarters, which is right around here, I think. Uh, the geography obviously takes a bit of takes a few liberties with the area. Even though this game was developed here in the area, it obviously takes a few liberties with it. So, uh, hmm. I guess, as usual, I try to lead people on a guided tour of the wasteland that is the D.C. area. But I guess all the swamps evaporated. But you, you can actually walk across the Potomac River because, you know, it <laughs> dried up. I mean, I will say this. The rocks look really good at this resolution. <laughs> I mean, there's only so much you can do with the assets, though. But, yeah, the game does look better than you would expect. Or it's an Xbox 360 game. They're just make they're just cranking up the resolution basically. Can I jump over that fence? Triangle is the jump button, not triangle. Uh, y is the jump button. How about I don't activate the water valve and eat those rads? Let's avoid the rads for now. So I guess this could be a place to hide. Unless the enemies are smart enough to open doors. Like the raptors in Jurassic Park. I want to say that the enemies in this game are not smart enough to open doors. Because they're definitely not strong enough. They're definitely not smart enough to, like, walk over guardrails. <laughs> Has that been explained? Hold on. I think the Enclave iBot's not supposed to kill me. Uh, press the right bumper. You can just mash on the right bumper to see if there's anyone near you. Typical uh, traversal strategies in this game. We're playing on the hard difficulty level, in case you're wondering. Is that listed here? Yeah, hard difficulty. Which is good enough for us. Action mapping? Oh, yeah, that. 
All you need to know. I play this game every every so every so many years. Um, but what was the plan? Well, the plan. Well, I, I was trying to think of something to play on the Wii U. I guess we'll get around to that later. Uh, I need to pull out my copy of the Excite Truck, which I know I probably have it in like a have it in like a shoebox around here or something. I saw Metroid Prime Trilogy, so I used the money to buy a bunch of Switch games. I'll probably end up playing some of those later. Um, unfortunately, there's a non-zero chance that the copy of Zodiac Age that I bought was lost. Because you know how it is. Those Switch cartridges are the size of a fingernail. Of course I lost it. I put it in my pocket so that it wouldn't get lost in my plastic bag with all the other games. Again, again, there's probably a non-zero chance I put the game, I put the disc, I put the cartridge inside one of my other games. I hope I did. I haven't bothered to check them. <laughs> I haven't checked them all individually. But I think I already screwed that up. I will be taking that. We can sell that. We'll probably end up drinking it at some point. Yeah, no enemies around here. So yeah, this just sets the table. I mean, I think the game holds up, honestly. If you made a game that looked like this in the year um, 2023 and, it, and you released it for $40, I guess people might be okay with it. But you have to sell people. You have to, you have to like prime people to accept a game that looks like this. Because this does look like a this does look like a 15 year old video game, doesn't it? It looks like a good looks like a it looks like a good version of a 15 year old video game. I'll say that. Nothing in the mail drop box. And you know the usual rules. You can put stuff in here you don't want anymore, and then come back for it later if it doesn't respawn. You know how it goes. I can put one of these extra police batons in here. I might need to I might need to combine those. Give me a second. I press the B button for the pit boy. Retrospect, I always did like this part of the music, but I never really paid attention to it outside of playing the game. Press the Y button to repair. So you can see the, the CND value in the middle of the screen there below my feet. It says DAM. That's the damage. Below that, it's CND. That's the condition of the weapon I'm carrying. So let's repair this weapon. Y. So we'll repair the baton with the other baton, which will make it... Well, you're basically using, you're basically repairing weapons by using duplicates of that weapon. I'm not opposed to that. I admit, I kind of like that. Now, is Springvale Elementary a real school? I don't know. Again, I'm not from this part of the area. But I did get a fast travel point, so that's good. So we're supposed to be going south, so we'll go south to Megaton. Early dismissal. Uh, whatever. No school. <laughs> yep, school's out forever. If that duck and cover didn't really work, did it? So what am I thinking of? Again, well, again. I... I'm still somewhat mad that they never committed to releasing Fallout 3 on the Switch. But I know that Skyrim was... I mean, Skyrim's an M-rated game. It's not like there were... Sen I mean, were there... There could not have been censored... Well, they probably were worried that... How much trouble do they want to go to to make this game run on the Switch? Because if, if Skyrim probably sold better, I guess they could have justified it. Skyrim is a $50 video game, by the way. It was a 10-year-old video game when it came out on the Switch, right? I want to say it was like a... It was like a 7- or 8-year-old video game, and they sold it for... $60 when it launched. Even though every other version of the game can be purchased for less than $10. If you want to play Skyrim right now, you can buy the special edition on the Xbox One for like 5 bucks. You can, you can play Fallout 4 for 5 bucks. So this whole idea of spending $60 on an uglier version of Skyrim just seems weird. It's the worst... Oh, it's not the worst. It looks better than the PS3 version. But it's like, it's such an... Skyrim is obviously a very good game, but spending $60 on the Switch version, it's like, it's just a bridge too far for me. I almost bought it this weekend, but it's like, I have too many Switch games to play through. Skyrim alone would like... First of all, I've... do you spend $120 in store credit on like eight Switch games that may or may not be good? Or do you spend $40 on one Switch game you know you like? 
but I already own Skyrim on the PC. And I still have the Xbox One version sitting right here. I just got it for like five dollars in store credit. So I still have it. Whoops, here we go. Hey! Where? Had enough. Uh. Bada boom. Wait, who blew up? Did he did he blow himself up? Dude blew himself up. It's hard out there on them streets. Didn't I see this in Fancy Star 2? <laughs> yeah, I guess it basically went down like this. I mean, everyone remembers that if you if you grew up in this area, you know what I'm talking about. Suck it, Rufus. <coughs> like you remember this era, like the promise of playing like fresh blood just Time right for you to uh -oh. help me with this one yeah tear them apart i'm the good guys one of these dudes almost died yeah these are the bad guys first mistake this <laughs> <take long. laughs> oh, my fucking... yeah it's going uh -oh. language you're dead dead <clears throat> what's my stamina meter like is there a stamina meter? Uh, I don't think uh, I have any guns. Uh, Let me in. Let me in. Uh, Please. I'm about to. I need some stim packs. That's really all I need. Are they still following me? That one is. Yeah, I don't have any guns. Do I? Uh, stay, uh, hopefully the, everyone will remain, uh, helpfully paused while I look through my, my, go through my inventory to look for a gun. Um, I have a police baton, which is more valuable than my knife. I guess I might as well just use the knife. And I, I have a BB gun. It's not good enough. Maybe I can stun them. I don't know. Help. Yeah. Hey, it's Bill Welcome Wells. Welcome to Megaton. The bomb is perfectly safe. We promise. Okay, Mickey's on my team. Hey, shoot those guys for me, please. By the way, which side of the building am I on? So I'm on the north side. So I guess I should. I guess I. I guess I found. I guess I was on the wrong entrance. Yeah, I should have gone through the entrance. I, I went to the wrong side of the. Uh, Wrong side of town. Be careful. Careful. Commencing lawful use of deadly force. That's what I heard. Engagement with multiple hostile. Yeah, they better drop a gun at some point. In progress. Please stand clear of the combat failure spurt. Uh oh. They got Deputy Wells. This is not going to go well. Yeah, that wasn't part of the plan. Where's what's his name up top? I have a sniper on the roof. Yo, Stockholm, shoot the guy so I can steal his gun. Yeah, I think we got him. Let me steal his stuff. Uh, so I will take his scrap metal. I don't think he was. I guess he wasn't that useful after all. So hopefully, one of these guys will lend me his gun if Stockholm doesn't die. Any other Ooh, bodies here I can loot? Love Time's up, princess. This can't be good. Okay, they got Stockholm. This is going to go very poorly. <laughs> wow, this entire video just went poorly. So where do I go inside? <coughs> yeah, I might want to use a stem pack. This entire thing went very poorly. <laughs> this, is, this is an inauspicious start to my Fallout 3 journey, isn't it? Okay, um, hmm. This is this is not unusual for a fallout for a fallout run. I think we can admit that. Stem pack. Guess I'm gonna have to burn some of these stem packs. I'm afraid. Ah! Yeah, too bad Stockholm died.
Okay, and we got mole rats. Any other allies, maybe? People who aren't dead? I guess I can loot my allies' bodies. Too bad all I have is a knife. Might be able to gank them, though. Only two of them. Might be able to I might be able to gank the guy with the pistol. Uh, Whoops, or not. Uh, uh. I was hoping I could gank him. Hold still, beat. I guess they still see me. He saw me. There's a guy with there's a guy with a uh, flamethrower over there. I'll see if I can get around him. Yeah, don't try to attack the guy with the flamethrower. Okay. The guy with the flamethrower's dead. Holy I got shit. him. I got him, I got him. Take the whole thing. So what am Some I equipping? Yeah, you want I decided to use a melee attack on a dude with a flamethrower with I literally I literally stabbed a guy with a flamethrower. I'm not complaining. I'm just observing how dynamic this game's combat can be sometimes. Okay, I'm running out of fuel. Let's see what we can do. I got 32 with five bullets. It ain't going to go well. Flamer. <laughs> Suck it. And died. Yeah. <laughs> well, so that's your uh, test of uh, Fallout 3 on the Xbox One. We'll play more of this later, obviously, unless I kid ourselves. But yeah, I was recording this with my um, Turtle Beach headphones. The headset uh, plugged into my inland HDMI capture device. What is it even called? It's an inland uh, full HD 1080p HDMI video with loop out. I guess you would call. It. I don't even know what. What's the number of this thing? The MC three six four two zero eight. I guess. Well, it's a Micro Center exclusive. I guess. Uh, microphone for streaming. Yeah, it's got the microphone inputs. Yeah, I had to use an audio splitter to get the uh, microphone from this. Uh, to get the microphone from this headset to work but we have the HDMI pass through pass through to the TV but we're capturing it using the USB 3 input into the Windows 11 camera app on this dual core laptop here so we'll see how it all sounds 60 frames a second capture for that 